Hello everyone. Today I'll show you how to create pony eyes in Inkscape. Something which especially new vector artists, including myself, seem to always struggle a bit with. There's actually not much about it, just a few essential tools. So just let's get started. Since you'll likely to have screenshots from the show, we'll use such one and recreate the same eye. I usually always work from the top to the bottom, so let's start with the white highlights. The one tool you use all the time is a 5 point ellipse LPE, which means live path effect. Take your path tool and create a path with 5 nodes along the highlight. It's best to cover the largest area possible with that. When you are done, open up the path effect editor and add the 5 point ellipse LPE to it. Now all you have to do is to remove the stroke and add a white fill to it. Proceed with the second highlight the same way. The lens works exactly the same way, just with a black fill instead. Since new objects usually always appear on the top, I keep hitting the home key to bring them to the bottom. Next up are the two highlights on the iris. Since they will be covered by the lens on the inside and clipped by the iris on the outside, you don't have to be very accurate here. First create the brighter highlights with a 4 point path leaking a bit inside the lens and outside of the iris. Then do the same with the darker highlight, overlapping it a little bit with the brighter one before moving it to the back and grouping it together with the other highlight. Now it gets a little tricky, because Inkscape is not always very accurate when it comes to clipping. First we use the 5 point ellipse LP again to create the iris, but we don't fill it this time. Keep the ellipse at the top and clip the highlight group with it. Then go into the just clip group and create a rectangle covering the entire ellipses. Now just create the gradient for the iris which starts with the darker part close to the top and ends somewhere in the upper third. The reason we clip it this way is because else the iris color could bleed through the highlights on the outer edge. The same procedure can be applied to the sclera, but it is not always required. In this case the iris is covered by other elements on all sides. But there are other situations where it ends with the white of the sclera wiped on the coat, which could lead to color bleeding. For the sake of it, we are doing it here as well though. Creating the clip for the sclera heavily depends on the situation. Some are simple enough that you can just do the path manually, others require to create a full ellipse and maybe manipulate it. For completeness of this tutorial, I'm creating the sclera the most correct way though. Before we draw the sclera, we must create all the covering elements first though. I'm using the taper stroke LPE, which comes with Inkscape 0.92, but you can also do them with power strokes from Ponyscape or with other techniques.
Now that the covering elements are done, we define our 5 points again and create an ellipse out of it. Since we need to modify it to clip properly, I am converting it to a path and then insert a few points so it is covered by the above elements. Finally we group all parts of the eye together and clip it with the newly created path. The final step is to open the group and create a wide rectangle covering the entire clip. Of course, I did a lot of operations via the menus now, which makes the process a lot slower. I highly recommend that you assign and use keyboard shortcuts for as many operations as possible, as this will speed up your vectoring time by a huge factor. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you next time.